Listen, Joey is recording in front of a live studio audience. Ryder, Lennox, poker night! Let's go, get down here, it's family together this time, or I take all your money. Wish we could. Sanders take me to an art show. It's photos of people taking photos of people. <laughs> what if we're not gonna just park in behind the supermarket and make it out? What the? I didn't mean that. Do the bad thing. This new artist boyfriend, you know, he seems pretty harmless. There's no such thing as a harmless 17 year old boy, Mel, unless he's neutered. Do <laughs> you remember when Lennox broke up with Haskell right before she met Xander? It was the happiest nine minutes of my life. <laughs> Hey, there he is. Uh, you ready to bleed some money? Yeah, tonight, Joe. We've we'll had the trips tomorrow and a bunch of us going over to Mark's house to hang out. Oh, and that's more fun than hanging out with us? Well, it's cheaper. All right. See you guys. See ya. Okay. Well, it's just, uh, two of us, then. Yeah, it's gonna happen a lot now. You know, us alone in an empty house. Should we figure out something fun to do with each other? With what? Is, is that coming from your pants? Yep. That would be my phone. <laughs> oh, look, it's Tatiana. Mm, what did she do to merit such a classy ringtone? <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want answered, Mel. <laughs> We've noticed it too. One A list celebrity after another hooking up with the nanny. Now, you know who I'm talking about, right, Jeff? Listen, Jude Law, Ethan Hawke, Robin Williams. Something must happen in the house that people just can't fight. Oh, they can fight it. This is just gross. Hey. All right, so think of something that we can do with each other? Not gonna happen. skill set necessary to stuff sweatpants into a duffel bag. Okay, the fly's down. So, for you guys out in the wilderness, huh? You know, there's no uh, video games out there, no texting. Oh, the only angry birds are angry birds. So, I think I'll survive. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Where's your other shoe? Oh, man, I don't know. Ryder, your size 48 shoe is in the shower. See? Solved it. Get you all grown up in your two shoes. Wow, you were looking awfully Armani this morning. Oh, you know nothing. I'm actually very Hugo Boss. Because? Because I have a job interview. A very big job interview, actually, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't play right now because... It's best not to tell your stuff. That's how we live. Thank you. Wow, you look nice. Were you indicted? Actually, I'm on my way to a funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. You want me now? Yes. As a matter of fact, it's... Um, the trash man. Odd, I could have sworn I saw him this morning. You know, it might be if I misspoke. I meant the mailman. I would send a sympathy card, but there's no one to deliver. You know, I sense you're covering something, but in order to pursue it, I would have to care, and I'm happy to say I don't. All right, bye, guys. See you in four days. Oh, that's right, you're leaving today. Oh, my little baby nephews. Bill. Bert, that kid's a giraffe. If he grows any taller, we're gonna have to start recutting the doors. Fantastic committee hearing today. I was electrified. The entire zoning commission was hanging on me, every word. Huh, look what Xander drew for me. And now I'm home, my power to captivate is gone. No, look, isn't it awesome? Oh, so awesome. I mean, just as awesome as the other 30 drawings did that look exactly the same. No, this is different. See, this is me looking to the left. The best ones are where I'm looking slightly up and to the right. Hey, does this kid draw anything else? All right, what are you getting at? Well, honey, he's obsessed with you. Enjoy it, doesn't last long. Hey. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Doesn't this guy know how to draw anything else? It's like you're dating a Xerox machine. You two are dead inside, like husks of corn left out in the sun. Husks of corn buy your clothes. Wow. I thought you 
you made up the whole funeral story. I didn't know you were that close to the mailman. Oh, the mailman's fine. Only thing that got buried today was my career. Isn't that old news? <laughs> I mean, aww. You know, is that Buckwall from down the street, the sporting goods guy? Yeah, well, he's expanding citywide. He comes up to me the other day, and he says, hey, Joe, we could really use somebody like you. Well, that sounds positive. Yeah, his massive expansion means he needs help around the house, working as the nanny, you know, pushing the strollers, wiping the butts. Oh, well, you know, look on the bright side. The mailman's not dead. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. The offer he gave me was actually pretty good, and I think I may even get him to come up. What? Whoa. Are you negotiating a salary? No. Are you kidding? If I think of another job like this, then I really will be a nanny. Well, aren't you one now? I'm just asking. No, I'm not. I only work as a nanny. All right? What I am is an executive in transition who took a temporary job to tide him over. Three years ago. I'm sorry. What was that? Nothing. You know, it's obvious why they want you. Ryder and Lennox are good kids. You're a big part of that. I'm an even bigger part. <laughs> but, you know, numbers aren't important. It's not a pie chart. There's another thing you're great at. Pies! I do make a damn good cherry pie. I'll need you around here, Joe. No, no, you don't. You don't. Look, all the writer's friends drive. You know, Lennox spends all her time with her boyfriend. I mean, seriously, no, I got nothing to do here all day but lift weights. I mean, look at me, you know? I've never been any hotter. And yet, I'm empty inside, you know? I'm, I'm like this insanely lean-cut shell of a man. I mean, give me one reason why you need me here. Besides pies or dinner or anything you can digest. Oh, sure, there aren't that many minutes and minute things with the kids, but I think of you like, like, like this fire extinguisher over here. Okay, you don't need it every day, but when you do, it's right here waiting for you. Hanging on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want you on that wall. I need you on that wall, you know, ready to spray yourself all over any problem. You know, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe this is it for me, you know? Maybe I'm gonna be doing this the rest of my life. Nanny Joe, Joe the nanny, end of story. Where are you going? I don't know, when you say something that finally you have to leave the room or else you end up looking stupid. I'm sure I can't oh, work. No. Yeah, I see that. But it looked like nice. Oh. Girls? Ma'am, I'll clean it.